Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And if you see Effie, that means, you know, it's probably a defemorember. Defem oh my goodness, I pride myself on being able to say that word from the beginning and then sometimes I still can't say it quite right. My scraps came. And so I'm going to open them on camera and then I'm going to work on my... Uh, well, I might not work on it on camera because you guys have seen how Barbara and um, and Louisa did their bag. But I may alter some fabrics before I do that. So that I will show you. But this will help me to have, and I, well, I already know kind of what size I want my bat box to be. And I think that uh, Patty did good and I'll be able to still fit it in that. I have these little six inch cubbies in front of me. And so I want them to be able to fit in there. So that after December, remember, I can, you know, put it in there. Oh my goodness. Duct tape. Scissors would be nice. Nope, don't need scissors. Okay. So I swapped with Patty, who has a YouTube channel, and I will link her below. Go check her out. She she loves she has a great grungy style that I love. Um it's it, yeah, she's yeah. Getting ready for Defemember has been fun this year because we've got the Facebook group. And so there's so much inspiration in there. And uh, look at this gorgeous piece of love the dangle. Absolutely love the dangle. Love this little scrap too that goes over the thing. So th this bag, that's uh, going to make some great. We're going to be using that. Love the shiny. Love the fabric. I love a batik. I take after my gram. So let's go through. Um, this is just a paper bag, smushed with ink and whatnot, and then sewn on two sides, folded around and sewn on two sides. Love it. Envelope full of little goodies, little dream, some yarn, some yarn. Um, that is a fun, that'll make a fun stencil to use. Uh, little charms. What is that? Is that little, oh, they're little robots, I think. Hold on. A bead. I didn't send her any beads. I was going to, and then I didn't. I didn't, I only sent her one tiny piece of fabric, too, because I knew she has tons of fabric, because her mom had de-stashed a lot of fabric, so I figured... Ooh, that bead is cool. I wonder if she, so it looks like a wood bead. And uh, there's a bird, a toucan, and some other beads in there. And then this. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a robot because they're just little jemmy things. So those would be nice um, little things. And then a uh, sticker. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. My initial. Coca-Cola. Uh, some foil. That's been embossed. A fun little uh, piece of fiber. And a label. Also envelope. Some tissue. Oh. Who would have thought to keep that and use that at the top of a... Uh, um, medicine thing. Green, do you like green eggs and ham? Some lovely stickers. Uh, fall napkin. I actually don't have that one. Ooh, love this. Nice grungy piece. Ooh, love this too. And some book page. I sent her a book page too. I actually will have a video once she has her showing what I sent. First law of thermodynamics. Some painty paper with some mark making. Love that. Those are my favorite. Sometimes, like other people's mark making, you like better than your own. Nice little snippet. Uh, butterfly that's been inked and is also a piece of scrap paper. <sighs> little uh, sewn piece here. A little piece of fabric that's been grungied up and dyed. Another nice little piece of fabric. Ooh, this is awesome. Deep Delta Country. A uh, book spine. Ooh, some batik. Love it. Love the greens, too, and the natural leaves. And some calendar page. I have this napkin. <laughs> some napkin on paper. This napkin, like, it bleeds. <laughs> um, looks like some 
uh, scanned collage paper, some red bits, a little heart, the music, a piece of fabric with the lace, some more hearts, some more grungy mark making, and I think this is supposed to be a, um, whatchamacallit, well it looks, actually it would be cute, like, it would be a cute pocket on a page, actually. If, whether I put that piece down or not. One, two, three, four, six. Hexagon. Hexagon. Some nice painted paper. Some inked paper. Some tissue. Some coffee filter that's been dyed black. Love that. Some... Looks like scrapbook paper. And another heart. Wait, was this from her? Or is this on my desk? That, that's the chocolate <laughs> I wondered. I, I don't know if that was already on my desk or if that came from her. Because if so, we've got a couple now. <laughs> Patty, did you know that was my favorite chocolate? Man, where's the chocolate? I don't know if that was from you or if it was just on my desk. Because it could have just been on my desk. Um, but it's kind of squished, so I think it might be from her. I think that's funny. That amuses me. So those are my scraps from Patty. Thank you so much, Patty. And then I will also add some of my scraps. Plus, I've had the PM Artist Studio scraps sitting on my desk forever. Um, plus, I have some, like, happy mail from other people that I want to stick in my scraps. Um, but, yeah, my, you know, like, when you order from PM Artist Studio, you get, like, little pieces. Um, I've been saving those. And then I moved them from where I was keeping them. And who knows where they are now. But, uh, yeah, so these will go back in here until I make my, until I make my, um, scrap basket. And these are awesome. Thank you, Patty, so much. I appreciate you sending me the things, and I appreciate you. See, I can still use that side. That side has a note on it, though. I might keep the note in my, um... I might put it in my Defend Remember book, actually. All right, so what was I talking about when I said I wanted to alter some fabrics? Um, I mean that I want to take some look of my muslin and stuff and stamp it, and I might want to gel print some, um, maybe even some inks and whatnot. But, you know, we've got the colors, the blue-greens and whatnot. I mean, I have a lot of fabrics already that color. And I wouldn't have to alter any fabrics but, you know, part of me kind of wants to. Plus, I have this stamp that I probably want to use on something, too. So, I'm going to pause and grab some things. And I haven't done fabric on the gel plate in a while. Of course, the container I want to use for size is, is, was full of markers. So, I had to empty those. Which gave me the idea to maybe do some mark making on some of the fabrics that I have. Um, that will hopefully also become pieces. Oh, a piece of paper would be nice. Just, just a little something. <laughs> that might be a little bright. Let's go with this darker one. Which is making me rethink some of the greens I have in here. Uh, maybe the medium one? Let's look at his jacket. That's actually pretty close to a jacket color, so this will be fine. I was thinking, you know, just some mark making on some fabrics. Not that it shows. <laughs> but I thought it might be interesting. Also, I think I want to go grab my um, fabric scissors that are... Yeah, it just kind of goes into the fabric, doesn't it? Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's still there. I'll try a lighter fabric. And, all right, we'll try some of this. Where is it? Some of this lighter fabric. Ooh, 
which probably has a sizing on it, which is making this um, show up more <laughs> and not go into it quite as far. Let's see. It is going through some, but it didn't go through to the second layer, fortunately, since I... Uh, This is probably easier to do before I glue them down, but could probably be done afterwards as well. And, you know, since this fabric was just like little circles anyway, I thought, why not? A little bit of uh, uh, mark making as well. Why not? You know. Adds interest. I mean, we already have also I wanted to do some stamping at the Versafine. different do I want to use this green all right that green has enough blue in it that it will work it's just little leaves don't mind my noise little leaves that we could then add some numbers to why not we don't know which way this fabric is gonna go on there just grunging it up a little bit why not? Now it's got leaves and numbers. I like that. So does my <laughs> thing here. That's all right. Uh, of course, in the Osnaberg is easy to add something to. That's what's on the front of my. Um, could use any permanent ink. Uh, the Versafine seemed to work really nicely. This is one of my favorite stamps. It's a rose, uh, uh, abstract, abstract kind of a rose designed by Froyle Davies, Froyle Art, for PMArtistStudio.com. Look, I've got some coffee dyed stuff too. Osnaberg. Just clean that up a little bit. I mean, so it's a little sm It looks like fingerprints, though. That's all. <laughs> that's okay. We'll just add a little bit of a... Uh... This, and who will ever know? Of course, if I put something under here, that would be super helpful, wouldn't it? Like what? I don't know. Like some tissue. Which it'll probably just go through anyway, but you know. Just fringing it up any way we want, any way you like it. That's the way you like it. Do 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 do. And then when I make it, I'm gonna um try to come down like this, so it's gonna be higher in the back and lower in the front. I think, unless I want to put a pocket on it, then I need to have it be at least as tall as the pocket. Somebody else did a pocket, so I'm just stealing their idea. Um, so this pocket would be a little tall. Maybe I'll put that, this one, oh, let's see, either one. I might put one of these inside this here, inside the journal. Just like as a little, that one's too wide, so this one's definitely going to be too wide, because this is like a huge, humongous pocket. That's definitely too wide. I mean, I could fold it up and have it be that way. Or, you know, sew it off there. Won't hold much. <laughs> or this one could go on potentially sideways. Hmm. Or I could find uh, smaller people to get pockets from. My son's 28. He's not small. 
Of course, those were the shorts he grew out of, you know, that he wore when he was probably 16 and whatnot. All right, so those pockets are too big. Good to know. Other people have smaller pockets, not me. All right, let's see. And I mentioned the uh, gel plate too, right? I can still put some background stamps on here, even if I'm going to gel plate. Where is... Some, just some, um, that, or that, some, some fonts, fonts of knowledge, that's like the one that, what's your name, really likes to use, and uh, just letters, lots of letters, letters and letters, and, what's oh, in here, spots, and whatnot. And leaves, clocks, little doodlies, splotches, clocks, all the things. Let's see, is there anything here I want? Oh, I will always go for a damask. Maybe some lines. Ooh, a little baby fleur de lis. Thank you very much. I'll take you. We like little baby fleur de lises. Oh, look, another piece of denim because we didn't have enough. We didn't have enough, but you know, it's a joke because there's always, I always have more than enough. All right, now if you put paper on the back of your stamps, don't then use glue them to, um, attack. or this was double-sided tape, I guess, is what that was, is why that's like stuck on there forevermore. So now I don't know. Oh, it got warped. These stamps... They touch the cheap stamps. I just need to stop keeping the cheap stamps. Although that might be one of the cheap stamps. But. Just use a little glue stick. Stick that on there. And I uh, hope it's going to come up halfway decent. Mm -hmm. Hope that that's not going to come. Oh, I got two. I got a uh, couple out of uh, one little thing, which is nice. Sometimes I like them to be lined up and aligned and whatnot, but right now we're not going to worry about it because we don't know which way the uh, fabric is going to get used. Well, we do know it's not going to be just a regular plain blue fabric, denim. It's sort of denim. Sort of, kind of. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing fine and well and happy. And uh, enjoying life or getting through life. I don't know. What, what, is, what is your mode of survival at this point in time? Are you in survival mode? If so, I know you don't have the strength and energy to reach out for help. But if somebody offers it to you, please take it. If someone calls you, tell them. Survival mode is hard. Uh, where did my other damask, my little, my other, there it is. One of my favorites. I had another one I really liked, too. Um, yeah, paper got stuck to it. Shocker. Stuff gets stuck to my stamps. Are we surprised? Are we really? Alright. I do like this Versafine. It is a little pricey, but it is, um, I did not put that on there perfectly, which is fine. It, um, look at that. I got like three, three out of that. It inks really well. It takes really well, you know, on porous surfaces. We have learned that, haven't we, Gail? <laughs> All 
There we go. That is no longer plain fabric. That is now ready to be used. I like this for texture. This was one of my son's sweaters. So I definitely want to use some of that. Um, the inside I may keep fairly plain. This is muslin. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to... I'm wondering if this is going to fit. This is duck cloth, which is like a... Uh, whatchamacallit. I'm wondering um, if I do it in bigger strips. I was hoping that maybe it would... Um, you know, give me basically my base. Like, what I'd really like to do, even, is have more of a loose base. Um, like one that I would sew, that you do the corners. I'd have to learn how to do that, wouldn't I? I don't know. It's one thing I've thought about. I need a bigger piece of this, though. Or a bigger piece of something for the inside. I like this because it's sturdy. I do have muslin. Nice big piece of that. Um, I also got some Tim Holtz fabric. Some One of my favorite is this blue-green. Um, yeah. Which is why you've seen me pulling out some blues and greens. <laughs> this is... Close, but you know, not exact. Um, yeah, I'm still in process mode, I think. In process of my ooh, how would this work in the bottom? That would work probably perfectly. For the, like, I don't really need it taller than that, per se. Alright, um, I said I wasn't going to make you watch. <laughs> and I probably won't. I will show you when I'm done. How's that? Um, because it's going to be another confluted process, I'm sure. I don't know what I'm doing or, or anything, so... I mean, if I do record it, it's going to be like a fast forward kind of a deal. And, um, yeah, I'm just, because otherwise it's going to stress me out completely. So, let me go get some, uh, some plastic. All right, I lied. Are you guys ready for another convoluted idea? The idea stems from this um, journal cover that I have already um, backed on this uh, paper bag. And if I were to make it the right size, I wouldn't have to use glue. I think I'm trying, I can use a sewing machine, but not glue. So it depends, oh, I can do it this way, all right. So I just need it to be, so, my my thing here is about six inches so i'm gonna do about a five inch uh square um give or take this is this is uh, a little bit smaller this is one two three four almost five so i'm gonna do five ten fifteen twenty so it has to be at least twenty twenty one inches for an overlap to go around this and then I want it probably to be at least four inches high. And then I'm doing an extra inch to fold over. So that's five inches. Plus I want it to cover the bottom. So if that's five inches, I need another two and a half to three. So we'll say three, four, seven, eight. So eight inches minimum by 21 inches minimum. And I'll give myself some room. So I will probably do this at nine by 23. 10 by 23, 10 by 24. We like even numbers. So 10 by 24. It is. I brought down my uh, ruler when I came. It's not here now. So the idea is that once I have this covered with fabric, that I will be able to come along and bring it over like this. And then probably glue it here. 
and then glue the bottom parts down. So maybe I don't want to have fabric on the bottom. Might be. And also we have way more um, than I need here. So I'm going to cut this here. Well, I'm going to rip it. Um, close your ears if you don't like the sound of tearing. And I'm going to mark it there as well. But I don't need fabric on this part. But I do need an overlap. So that I have something to glue it to. So I'll make a line right there. And that is the line for that and then I'm going to fold over about an inch up here just to give it some, some stability at the top and I may end up doing fabric on both sides but I'm okay if it's just um you know paper bag on the inside that's not going to bother me all right so there is the top and then I don't need it quite as tall as this. So probably about, and I wanted to come down some of it. So, all right, I'm gonna make a line right about there. But I don't need fabric on the bottom. This is gonna make it, you know, out if I don't have to have fabric all the way on the bottom too. So, this part does not need fabric and this part does not need fabric. Um, and I'm wondering if I can figure this out now even if I were to um, cut each corner at an angle so it came in kind of like you might an envelope. Oh, that was a crooked line. <laughs> that was not a straight line, just saying. <laughs> You might want to make sure your line is straight. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. You just might. I could have folded it to figure it out. Actually, if I have a straight side, that'll be a little bit easier to do. Yes, I realize the paper is loud. Some of you love some of you love the sound of paper, so it's all fine and good. So if it is one, two, three, four, five inches, I don't need it taller than five inches. But I might, what I might do is give a little bit more strength at the top. Hey, we could even just make it a paper bag if we wanted to. All right. I'm overthinking it. That's what I do. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't suppose one of these sides is straight, which would make it easier on my brain. One of them might be, but the other one's not. be perfect? No, we don't. Oh, 
but we would like it to be, wouldn't we? Which was the side that was more straight? I don't know. Alright, so I will cover this in fabric and sew the fabric so it stays on really well. And then I kind of want to use my corners here. But I can't because I mean I can, but I can't. This corner I can, right? Sort of. do it like this. We don't have to do any cutting. We could just do it like this at the end. Okay. Like I said, that's taller than I need it. I'll figure it out eventually. Also, I wanted it to come down at an angle, right? What kind of an angle? Two inches from here to there, from here to there. That's the front. That's going to be the back. Yeah, we're just doing all kinds of precision. Not. So we have there to there, which is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two and a half. This should be the center point. Like I said, convoluted. The lady, she crazy. The lady does not know what she does do. the other one there I'm shaking my head at myself because I wanted it to be a little bit thicker here helps if you cut it right hey okay, I'm determined you guys I know it seems crazy <laughs> The things that I try on this channel. I'm aware of the insanity. Especially if I'm trying it for the first time and who knows if it will work or not. But you know, in my head it works. Also in my head I have glue. It has disappeared. Alright, over. And over. We just want this to be helpful for um, strengthening the top edge, which will most likely get uh, sewn as well, sewn through once the fabric is all on there. Hold on. That has to go 
down to that line. Did I do that on the other side by any chance? No. It's all right. It's not totally dry yet. So, just going out of it. All right. Don't worry. Fabric over that is gonna cover any of our any of our errors. There's gonna be errors. Have have no doubt. There will be errors. And go ahead and cut this at an angle. We're not looking for perfection. Never. Never gonna get perfection either. Um, I obviously did something wrong here. Let's see. Now, you also could have folded it in half to make sure that your angles were the same. That would have made sense. Let's just do that now. There we go. It's close enough. They're not gonna show next to each other. you you just bear with me because you're just like will she be able to pull this off <laughs> pretty sure that's why some of you stick around you're just like this girl's crazy she could have gone and watched somebody that already did this and learn how figure out how to do it but no she's gotta figure it out on her own that's just how she rolls just in case you're wondering that is definitely how I roll. So, where's my base? It's all about that base. Okay. This base is gonna come in handy at the end, just so you know. So now, we have it coming down on each end. Do we have it meeting in the back? No, we don't. Because why would we want that? We will just draw this line so that we can't see it. And just come down a little bit more. All right, and then how tall it did I want this? About four, one, two, three, four. Okay, oh, at that line right there. That's helpful, okay. And that line right there. So it's this. Fold line. So it's going to be. Like this. And like this. Did I just fold over the wrong bit? No. It's just going to be like that. That's. That's where that meets down there. Okay. And that's going to tuck under. And that's going to tuck under. And that's going to tuck under. And that, like, like a present. And then when we're done, it'll look like this. That's our hope. But it's going to be covered in fabric. So, that's the next part. Is to this fold line. I just got to remember, those are the only parts that need fabric. I didn't need as much fabric as I thought I was going <laughs> to. Because this is going to give us some structure. So I am going to go ahead and I want to make sure I have some of this denim in a couple places because I just like it. I also like where it has some we're going to stop at this line at the bottom that foldy line and if we can have little bits like this that are going to be you know cover the paper a little bit at the same time as um that's going to go around a corner do we want it to go around a corner i don't know it's okay if it does 
the end there. They're not perfectly symmetrical. I don't want them to be. In case you're wondering, that was never my intention. All right, we have some of this. Can go. Some of this. If I use it on one side, I'll probably use it somewhere on the other side to some degree. Even if it's here or here. And then it can go over the edge there. We'll move that pencil. It's going to get annoying. Isn't it? All right, so I think you get the idea here. I am taking fabrics with blues and greens and turquoise, aquas, whatever. Could be like that. And going over the edges as well. And holding it on with glue. And then I'm gonna sew like I did the cover. So it's gonna get sewn. It's gonna get all the pieces. Well, most of the pieces will get sewn to some degree. And then I'll probably do like crazy stitching all over. And it'll look like that on the back. And then I'll decide if I want to cover that with fabric or just leave it as it is. So I will show you if I was successful in just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I've collaged paper on the inside. I've collaged uh, fabric on the outside. And I've sewn it. Yeah, there's a piece missing. I'm going to put something there. Don't worry. Now we're going to see if I can get it to actually do what I wanted it to do. Now the test. Alright, this is about the front right there. So I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. There we go. Up, up a little. <laughs> to glue this down. Whoops, this side first. And so I just need to glue this part right here. And if I were smart, I would let it dry before I came back in trying to do the other part. But if you know me, you know I don't always do smart. All right. Put that right up in there. And then we'll go ahead and do this part. And we're going to do it like a present. And then we're going to come up on this part. And then we're going to fold that down and fold that down. And uh, smoosh it real good. See how we are on the corners. The bag comes out a little bit on the corners. I'm actually okay with that. If, if it's going to stay. I want you to stay. I need you to stay. Uh, part of it though is because I've got the um oops sorry I'm gonna do a line of glue right there to hold that down and then just kind of pull this up a little bit more so that when I put this down it will stay hopefully and not have the little bits coming out the bottom and then I'll have to uh, hold the glue hold it while the glue dries probably just gonna if I had a hot glue gun we'd be all up in this with the hot glue gun wouldn't we and then I could even put um, another piece of fabric or a piece of paper on there so here is the box and I saved out a piece of this fabric to just kind of tuck in the bottom. On the inside, you can see the paper I used. I used paper on the inside. Uh, that way I didn't have to worry about, you know, sewing it down. Now what I could even do is just make a piece in there that I could fold this in, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm just gonna sew this piece. I'm just gonna sew it. I'm gonna glue it in there. 
All right, I need to be the one to see. <laughs> and uh, it's, you know, it's a little on the big side. I'm aware. I'm not bothered. There's some strings coming off. It's all right. I could fold it under if I want to. The back's coming. This I should have waited until the glue was dry to do this. That's, but I'm rushing and I'm impatient. And uh, so there's that. All right, let's go ahead and maybe put a little clip on that. Clip it, clip it real good. There we go. Clip that, clip that, so the glue will hopefully stay. And that is my little scraps bag, box, basket, whatever. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a delightful day. I hope that wasn't too stressful. I mean, that's why I took a lot of it out. Otherwise, it would have been pretty stressful. I'm going to probably do like I said and do a piece of cardstock that fits in there and wrap that around it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. And let's see. We had this little piece here. I was going to probably put just a little piece of lace or uh, I have this piece. I had a small piece already cut. That was uh, uh, something my mom found at a an antique shop years ago. And I think it was antique shop. A lot of things. Some things she found at antique shops and some things were, you know, her great grandmother's or whatever. But I thought, you know, that might be cute to just stick right there where I didn't put fabric. And then I might put another one somewhere else. And then uh, it'll definitely be a smaller Effie than I was planning. So the next If I Remember video, I will show you this completed or even in the, uh, the title page or in the group. I will definitely be showing it in the group. Lots of inspiration in the If I Remember inspiration group in the Facebook. The Facebook in the Facebook. Yep. And don't forget to watch Barbara and and Louisa, their videos, and I think Barbara might be having something come out on November 3rd, having to do with, she might be doing her cover, I'm not sure. All right, have a late for day, guys. Love you. Bye. All right, there's Effie and his little cubby. I had to cover up the other cubby so you guys wouldn't see Robin. I didn't think she wanted me to put her picture up for all the world to see. Um, so, yep, he fits in his little cubby right there. This is the little CD holder that I have on my desk. Um, where, you know, I'm always looking for boxes that will fit nicely. And now I know I can make a box easily. I hope you all have a delightful day. Thanks for staying to the end, to the end. For when I actually, for real, say goodbye.